Hey y'all, it's Carolyn from bornintneworleans.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a floating tree on Ancestry.com. You might be wondering, what is a floating tree? Well, a floating tree or floating branch is a family tree within your family tree that does not have a direct connection to your home person. This is an example tree here, um, and this is my home person. You can see I have a really basic, there's father, mother, now, I have a floating branch within this tree. You don't see it on your main page or on your pedigree view, but if I type in here DNA match, you can see that there is a whole other tree within my example family tree. Now, this is really useful when you are creating multiple mirror trees um, and you don't want to have this happen, where you have just gobs and gobs of family trees um, and you have to keep track of them all. Um, it's also very useful when you are finding shared ancestors. Ancestor. Once you find that shared ancestor, that's when you can merge it in to your main home tree. Okay, so now that you know what a floating tree is, I'm going to talk about three different ways where you can get started. The first, and I'm going to walk through each way. The first way is you can add a relative. I'm going to add a brother here and just do DNA. And the reason I put DNA um, in usually for a DNA match is because if you're doing, <clears throat> if, you're, if you've got a large tree and you're doing multiple floating mirror trees, you want to have a really quick and easy way to find that person and for me my little get around or or trick is to have DNA somewhere in the name that's when I go and click find person they pop up um, so DNA example save it and now it's listed as a sibling I'm gonna go to that person and wanna go to their profile Go up here to edit, to the drop down, edit relationships. I'm just going to remove the father. Remove any relationships that were created when you added them to your home person. And now when we go and view them in the tree, you can see that they are here and not connected to, to the home person. Alright, the second way is to save from another tree. So I'm going to go over to my... DNA tree, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick this guy right here, Andrew Jackson Page, and this is my tree, so I own it, so it might be, a, your view might be a little bit different when you're looking at like a, um, a public tree or one of your DNA matches tree, but anyways, you can have the option to save the tree down here on this little navigation bar, and there's also a drop down menu where you can click save to tree. I'm going to do that right quick. And make sure you have the right tree connected and add a new person. All right, so there you go. Um, now you can see he's in my example family tree and he's hanging out there. I got another floating branch. All right, and the third way that I know of is to go is to save from records. So I'm going to go to all collections, search, let's see if I can find Andrew Page. And you want to find, make sure that you have the right person. This looks to be, looks like it's him. I'm going to click save to someone in your tree. Make sure you have the right tree connected. Add this to a new person. If everything looks good, go ahead and click save. And there you go. Now I have another Andrew page in my tree. When you're when you've built out your tree, you're hoping to find a duplicate between your tree 
in your DNA matches tree. So if I get to this guy, DNA match example, and I find that his great grandfather is the same great grandfather of my home person, well, then I want to merge them. And that way, this DNA match has a connection to my main tree now. It, we know the connection between this DNA match and the home person. So let me show you how to merge. And I got a couple people in here that are duplicate, so we want to merge them. Let me go, I'm gonna go to the person that you think is a duplicate. And for me, I know Andrew Jackson, he's got a duplicate in here. And down here on this menu or this navigation bar, there's an option to merge with duplicate. And also in the tools, there's an option to merge with duplicate. And it's really good about finding the duplicate, but you might have to you might have to search for it. Choose the options that you want and click merge. And there you go. Now I only have one Andrew page in my tree. There you go. Um, so that's pretty much it. That's how you create a floating branch or floating tree within your main tree on Ancestry.com. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you have any topics that you want me to discuss, feel free to comment and um, bring it up. Make sure to visit my website, borninneworleans.com. Um, I try to add tricks and tips that I know of. Um, you can watch... You can follow along in, in, our, in my search for my mom's biological family. Um, so, yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, y'all. I hope y'all like it. If you liked it, like and subscribe.